Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share a journal that I made. I just used a bunch of my scraps and a bunch of my favorite things. So I have this, it's a, the cover is, has a bunch of like vintage trucks on them. And I think it's a farmhouse collection or something like that from Doodlebug. I think so, but don't, don't quote me. And then on the cover, um, I did have a bunch of cute stickers that I printed off from Pocket Journal Pam's uh, Patreon. And I really love those stickers, so I wanted to include them in there. So I do have a sheet of vellum from Little Raven Ink on Patreon. And a lot of papers from this book that I purchased a long time ago. It was a really, really chunky book that I purchased from Barnes & Noble. And it was called, I think, For the Love of Paper. I did do a haul and I did do a flip through maybe on the channel um, with that book. Shoot. It had to have been almost a year ago or something like that. And then I also included some of these papers right here. Like it's a vintage paper that my sister-in-law sent to me. I really love um, the papers and the different things. So this journal, to me, it's, it is a junk journal, but it's like a pretty fine junk journal because I use, like I said before, my favorite things. So it's not necessarily themed. Um, it's not quite vintage. It's not quite modern or anything like that. And there really isn't a theme to, to it other than um, the papers that I love. <laughs> So I just included all things that I enjoy. So sometimes whenever you make journals like this, you don't have to think about the theme. You don't have to think about making it match. Um, you just use whatever you want to use in your collection. And that's what I did. I just did things. And then whenever I do journal and use the book, then um, I could add more things. This collage sheet right here, my sister-in-law sent to me. Um, she created this and it was it's so gorgeous the paper that it's printed on is beautiful like you can see here on the back side it has that vintagey kind of look to it and it is so pretty so the next few flips here are just the um the other side to the different papers because this is a uh, pamphlet type journal and as you can see it's just the opposite side but yeah, I just, I really enjoy it. I'm not sure when I'm going to use this journal exactly. I mean, it could probably be in maybe November time frame. I'm not really sure. So that is the journal I made. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some, some, some sort of inspiration from this book. Uh, thanks so much for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye guys.